everybody, welcome to uh, my, I don't know what you would call it, I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial on the Seafoam on my 33 Dodge DP6, very old car, um, this car has been sitting for 30 years and I've driven it around quite a bit, still kind of noisy on the engine, um, which is fine if you're okay with noise but I'd like to make my car as quiet as possible so I'm going to do a couple tutorials uh, there's been ones done but this one is specifically for the uh, 1933 Dodge uh, 230 flathead 6 which actually the motor in my car is a 1953 flathead uh, so what I'm going to do is it says here directions to add one ounce per gallon of gas and I just went and added three gallons of gas to the car I believe it's a 10 gallon tank, but I'm not going to put 10 ounces in. I'm going to start out with just 5 ounces of gas. Uh, what I have here is a measuring cup. You can see it has all your measurements. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this up to 5 ounces, which seems like a lot, but then again, it's gas. So it can't hurt your gas system. Um, from what it reads, it says that it's just. Uh, it's just an additive to help, so we're going to add that to the engine or to the gas tank here. Just put this down. Here's my gas tank. And away she goes. So now that we've added that to the gas, we're done with the gas part. The next one we're going to do is going to end up being for the crankcase. So Seafoam keeps the engine running clean by removing harmful oil residue. Um, residue deposits that can restrict oil flow and engine lubricate. Add one ounce for each quart of oil in the crankcase. So, my understanding is my crankcase has about five to six uh, gallon, uh, quarts of oil, so I'm going to add, we're going to go with four, five, because if it's even too much, I'm changing the oil after I drive it for a little while. Uh, I'm going to do about 30 miles on this car with this in it and uh, see if that quiets her down a little bit. I also have the stuff that Seafoam makes that sprays in the intake. I'm going to start the car here in a little bit, and we're going to do that also, uh, spraying it inside the car, let it clean, uh, get all the internals cleaned and lubricated. So um, stay with me as I do this one. Let's see, where's the oil? Oh, where it's on the path, that driver's side. <coughs> Here we go. This is where you add the oil and get it off. This is my cap here. All right. Now we're going to add oil to the crankcase. Do it slow because I'm not in a hurry. All right, so we've now added to the oil, we've added to the gas. Next. We're gonna turn the car on. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna do another tutorial on that one, but that's all you do, you add it in. Don't be scared, change the oil after you do it. Um, a lot of people say that you put oil, or excuse me, you put it in the oil and then run the car real quick and then let it out. That's not how you do it. You got to put it in the car, you got to run some miles on it, let the engine use that material that you just put into the oil to loosen everything up and then do your oil change. So my plan is to do an oil change, filter change, uh, probably tomorrow if I drive this car enough today uh, or in the very near future. Uh, but you definitely want to get it in and out of there pretty, pretty quick. Um, so now what I'm going to do is this area, I'm going to pop off the intake here, which is a bizzo because it won't let me take it off easily. Screwdrivers are needed. 
There's one and there's screwdrivers everywhere. Where's the right one? Screwdriver. All right. I want to pop off my little intake here. There we go. Little screen intake I got. Nothing fancy, just something to block stuff from going into the motor. And what you do is you have the seafoam here, which is a spray in to the intake. What you do is you take it, you throw it into the carburetor like so, and you spray. Some people like to go direct and just cut out the center, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that little bend. I'll be doing a tutorial on that next. Follow that on my page. Thanks for watching.